What's up YouTube? Sky, that one guy here, and today we have my first YouTube pack battle. So we're going to be opening up 14 vintage GX packs. Um, as you can see on the table, we have a pretty good little mix of packs. And uh, I'm also doing this pack battle against the YouTuber named Casual Yugi Stuff. This guy's a really cool guy, really nice, uh, very easy to communicate with. Uh, his videos are really good. I've been watching them for a while, so definitely go check out his channel. I'll have a link in the description of this video. So we're basically we're gonna be opening up these exact same 14 packs. He's got the same ones on his on his channel in his video, and uh, we're gonna let you guys, the viewers, decide who got the better pulls. You know, you can use value or coolest card or most hollows or whatever you want to use. Just what, whoever you think won, just go ahead and drop it down in the comments. So uh, yeah, I'll I'll leave his link in the description. So go check out his video, and uh, yeah, so we have eight Power of the Duelist packs to open, five Lost Millennium, and then one Cyber Dark Impact. Total of fourteen packs. Um, definitely excited to make this video. Real quick though, before we do this opening, I'm also doing another round of the one free booster pack giveaway. So to enter this giveaway, just like this video, comment, and subscribe. If you do those three things, and you're in the U.S. Uh, you'll be entered into the giveaway. So about one to two weeks after I post this video, I'll choose a winner and announce him, in the com him or her in the comments uh, of this video. And that winner can choose one of these packs and I'll get it shipped out to them for free. So enough about that. Let's get right into these beautiful vintage packs. So we have the first one we're going to start with is Power of the Duelist. We'll go Lost Millennium and we'll save that one Cyberdark Impact for last. So we're going to go into the Power of the Duelist Definitely a very, very old set. This set was released in 2006, so it's uh, it's definitely it's been around for a little while now. Um, all three of these are from the GX era. They all have chances at ultimate rares. And a uh, little fun fact about Power of the Duelist, it's actually the first pack to ever use the four letters as for the, the code. For the uh, set instead of three letters so like for example the lost millennium is tlm three letters power of the duelist is potd so it's four letters so it's the first set to ever do that so enough talking let's get right into these vintage packs Whew. gotta be careful opening these i do have sleeves on me in case we pull something good and uh, the main the main goal will be to pull at least one or two hollows um, even just one would make me really happy and uh, an ultimate rare would be like the really exciting, very exciting thing to do. So let's see if we can do it. Fossil Excavation, Alien Gray, D Spirit, Flying Saucer Music, Music E, Music One. Oh my gosh, we started off the video with an ultimate rare. Submarine Roid, we already, wow. We already got what I was hoping to get throughout the entire video. Man, casual Yugi stuff, you're going to have a tough time. I'm starting out strong over here, bro. So, all right, we already started out. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do that off camera, okay. Just so I could see better. I don't wanna damage anything. So we got that in the sleeve. We got Submarine Roid, Ultimate Rare, first edition. Um, I know this might sound crazy, but I actually played with this back in the day. Uh, something, I'm trying to remember its effect. Can attack directly. Uh, da -da -da. Change it to defense. So yeah, it was kind of just a, Sneak in and do some damage and then change it up and it was a machine so I don't know what I was thinking back in the day But I actually did use this for a very short period of time, but a uh, pretty cool card Definitely excited. We started out with an ultimate rare. That's crazy um, Honestly, that's that was the main goal of this whole video just to hit at least one ultimate rare so Already started off insanely good uh, Let's finish the rest of that pack. So mausoleum of the emperor decoy roid bite lawn Destiny Mirage, Fossil Excavation, and then those were the ones at the start of the pack, so. Wow, whew, that got my adrenaline pumping. We started off strong. Wow. All right, pack number two. Trying to be careful opening up these packs. Don't want to damage any of the cards. Fossil Excavation. Beacroid Connection Zone. Destiny Hero Fearmonger. Rescue Roid. Oh, wow, two hollows in a row. Destiny Hero Dogma. Super rare. Wow. Um, I think, man, the ratio, sorry, I'm going to sleeve this card up real quick. Um, I think the, 
the box ratios, I mean, the hollow ratios were pretty low back then. So I think we were getting extremely lucky here. And there we have it. So Destiny Hero Dogma. Definitely a big fan of the Elemental Heroes and the Destiny Heroes. They, uh, I've definitely played them many, many times back in the day. So two hollows already. And uh, I keep losing track of where I was at in the commons, but Crop Circles, Fake Hero, Alien Hunter, and Brainwashing Beam. So that's pack number two. Two hollows in a row. Wow, we are starting off so, so good. Uh, I was actually, I've never bought from the seller that I got these packs for, from, so I've, uh, I was a little worried they were scaled at the start, but it seems that they were definitely not. So um, let's see if we can keep that momentum going. Here we go. Pack number three, Power of the Duelist. Oh, did I open that one up backwards? Okay, Orbital Bombardment, Rescue Roid, Destiny Hero Fearmonger, Theocroid Connection Zone, and so we got our first non-hollow. So we got our rare Cosmic Horror Gangiel. Pretty cool looking card, honestly. Let's see if my camera will focus in. There we go. Yeah, pretty cool looking card. Uh, fake Hero, Alien Hunter, Brainwashing Beam, and Miracle Jurassic Egg. <laughs> Alright, so next pack of Power of the Duelist. So many good iconic cards in here. Lots of expensive ultimate rares. The uh, the collector's market is just, I mean, it's booming. Some of these ultimate rares in this set, um, like Dark Neos Ultimate Rare First Edition is like $150. Bucks. Um, Chimera Tech Over Dragon is like $100. Bucks. Aqua Dolphins like 70 bucks. I mean, there's some expensive ultimate rares and expensive cards in this set. Sorry, I just I want to be sure that I don't damage any of the cards. So we're just gonna get this wrapper all the way off. Okay. Alien Gray, Synthetic Seraphim, Black Patera. Orbital Bombardment, and D-Chain. Okay, so some more D-Hero cards. Just a rare again, but, you know, definitely won't complain. Anytime I can open up vintage packs, uh, especially these uh, GX packs are pretty nostalgic, so I will definitely enjoy that experience. So Miracle, Jurassic Egg, Mausoleum of the Emperor, Decoyroid, and Bitelon. All right, four more packs of Power of the Duelist to go. I guess we started off strong, and uh, you know, obviously we couldn't get just all uh, all hollows. So looks like we're on a little bit of a dry spell. Jeez, these packs just open up so different compared to today's packs. I am just I'm trying to be as careful with the cards as possible. So uh, Wonder Garage, Elemental Hero Neos, very uh, iconic, familiar card. Um, D Spirit. Flying Saucer Music, and Destiny Hero Dasher. All right. I'm actually a big fan of Dasher, another card I used to play back in the day before I knew what I was doing. So, um, you know, that this would have been insane to get as an ultimate rare. I think the, let's see, I don't have the price for the ultimate rare right now. I, I wrote down a few, but uh, yeah, the ultimate rare is like, I, I want to say it's like 20, 30 bucks. Maybe it's a lot more, who knows, but... Yeah, very a cool, very cool iconic card that I used to play back in the day. So a good rare to get. Uh, Ambulance Roid, Fake Hero, Black Stego, and Brainwashing Beam. All right, uh, so yeah, this is gonna be a little bit longer of a video. I'm kind of enjoying opening these, so taking a little bit longer than I do on some of the more irrelevant packs. Some of the more recent packs that I've opened up a ton already. So hopefully you guys are sitting back and relaxing. Uh, so Contact, Wonder Garage, Rescue Roid, Synthetic Seraphim, and Cyber Summon Blaster. More machine cards. I, I was a huge, big fan of uh, machines back in the day. And uh, I think I tried this for like, you know, maybe a few days, but I don't think it stayed in the deck for long. But uh, still a pretty cool card. So Alien Skull, Royal Writ of Taxation. Huh. Definitely don't remember that card. Uh, Saber Source, I remember that one. <laughs> Dinos. Uh, Destiny Hero Defender. Alright, so a little bit of a dry spell as far as hollows go. 
but still plenty of packs to go. So two more Power of the Duelist. And uh, yeah, Whew, here we go. Let me know if you guys were around in this GX era. Again, this pack was around 2006, I want to say. And uh, yeah, so if you guys were around and playing, you know, let me know what decks you were playing, what your favorite cards were around then, you know, let me know just what experiences you guys had. So, Ambulance, Rescue Roid, Destiny Hero, Fearmonger, The Paths of Destiny. Ooh, that's a cool looking card. Orbital Bombardment and Cyclone Blade. Okay, so more Destiny Hero support. Again, another rare. Uh, there's the Taxation card again, Sabersaurus. Uh, I think those three cards were all next to each other in the last pack, too. It's kind of strange. And uh, Common Soul. I wonder. Mm, too far to find out. I will have to check the video later. So, very last pack, Power of the Duelist. So, we have opened seven so far. This will be our eighth Power of the Duelist pack. Let's see if we can end Power of the Duelist strong on a hollow. That would be amazing, but uh, I won't push my luck too hard. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, some of these packs just don't open that easy. Okay, here we go. I got a good feeling about this pack. Here we go. Alien Gray, Vehicroid Connection Zone, Fossil Excavation, Baby Saurus, and oh, so just a rare, but it's a cool rare. Alien Mother. Look at that. Definitely some cool artwork there. Uh, so Alien Mother, Destiny Mirage, Destiny Hero Blade Master, Crop Circles, and Rallus the Starbird. So that was Power of the Duelist. Again, this was the first set to use the four-letter code for the set. So P-O-T-D, when the pack we're about to open will be only three letters, T-L-M. So let's get into the Lost Millennium. We have five packs of those to go. So far we are at two hollow rares, or two hollows, one super rare, one ultimate rare. So let's see if we can keep that going. We got so much on the table, my camera does not know where to focus. I do apologize about that. So Lost Millennium. Again, these are first edition packs. That cover artwork would be amazing, but uh, um, any hollows would do. So this set, uh, I believe this one was... Yeah, this one was 2005, was when it was released. So uh, definitely getting older and older every time I open up one of these packs. This set is just definitely aging, and it's aging very well. So again, this has some very expensive cards. Uh, the Lost Millennium Ancient Gear Golem, the cover uh, cover card, in Ultimate Rare is like, I want to say $150. Um, if it's actually near mint, Ultimate Rare first edition, and then you know, Ultimate Rare Wing Kribo, it's like 100, 120, uh, Flame Wingman, you know, it's so many expensive cards. So, this set has aged pretty well. Um, you know, people are really definitely going after those Ultimate Rares right now, but you know, those are harder to pull, it's not like you'll get those that often. So, uh, Moe Interceptor Cannons, oh, yeah, and there's so it has three letters, so. Back before then, they used to only do three letters, and then they changed it, so. Um, Gift of the Martyr. Hita, the Fire Charmer. Definitely liked the Fire Charmers. Pretty cool artwork on those. Uh, level Conversion Lab. And Nitro Units. So just a rare, but pretty cool looking rare. Medusa Worm. Lone Wolf. Guardian Statue. And Monk Fighter. Alright, we're on a little bit of a dry spell. But uh, I got a good feeling about this pack. Hopefully we can get a hollow here. Let's see. Lost Millennium. Can we push our luck and aim for another hollow? Two is already pretty good for the amount of packs we're opening. So if we don't get another, I won't complain. But uh, it would be pretty nice. So here we go. The Lost Millennium. Final Ritual of the Ancients. Ancient Gear Soldier. Gift of the Martyr. They definitely did some really good artwork back back in these days. Um, Battery Charger. And DD Survivor. So pretty cool card, DD Survivor. Um, always a big fan of the DD cards. Played a few of them back in the day. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not exactly what we're looking for. But still so cool to open. 
And uh, yeah, Guardian Statue, Battery Man AA, Mine Golem, and Miss Polymerization. All right, getting low on packs, you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. Whew, let's see if we can get another Hollow. So another Lost Millennium pack. Again, this was a set released in 2005, so it's definitely uh, vintage and old by now. All right, here we go. Whew. Ancient Gear Soldier. Elemental Hero Sparkman. There we go. I wanted to hit, pull some E heroes in this video. Even if it is just a common Sparkman, still, I'm a big fan of opening up Elemental Hero cards. Uh, Battery Charger. Rock Bombardment. And we got a Super Rare and a very, very iconic and familiar... Uh, super rare. So we got a first edition super rare brain control. This card definitely has caused some mayhem in its days. Um, yeah, so look at that artwork. And we got a pack fresh brain control. So we finally got another hollow. We ended that little dry spell we had. I'm going to grab a sleeve real quick. Normally I don't sleeve hollows in my videos, but I figured since these were, you know, a little bit of an older set, we would make the exception for this video. So Brain Control, super rare from the Lost Millennium. I'm excited with that pull. That was a good one. All right, and uh, our next card is Win the Wind Charmer. So we got another Charmer. They definitely did so good with the artwork on those. Definitely a fan. And Lost Guardian, Shifting Shadows, and Battery Man AA. So that was the rest of that pack. So we are on three hollows so far. That's actually a pretty good amount of hollows for this amount of packs that we were opening. Um, you know, we only had 14 packs, so, you know, three hollows is it's looking pretty good. All right, but, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and get one more. You never know. So here we go. Lost Millennium. Almost done with Lost Millennium. This, this pack and then one more after that. And I apologize if I'm opening these packs weird compared to how I usually open them. Just kind of want to keep the cards in one place and I don't mind destroying the pack wrapper. So Picru's Second Sight, Death's Wombat, Moy Interceptor Cannons, Elemental Hero Bersinitrix, there we go, another Elemental Hero card. Big fan of the E-Heroes and Bersinitrix was definitely one of the ones I played. Alright, uh, Grave Oja, so another rare, but a uh, pretty cool one, Grave Oja, you know, definitely not something I played at all, but uh, you know, maybe somebody out there did. Pretty cool card. Lone Wolf, Lost Guardian. Oh, we got the Earth Charmer. So, definitely collecting up all the Charmers. Pretty cool looking artwork there. Uh, what is that guy's name? I want to say that's like Pokey Dragon. I can't remember. Somebody in the comments, if you know that guy's name, I think he's a card as well. Let me know. Uh, and then Kaminoite Blow. I don't remember that card at all. That's some really cool artwork. That guy is just uh, punching something and destroying it. Looks cool. All right. Very last Lost Millennium pack. And then we'll get into these Cyber Dark packs. So let's see if we can end Lost Millennium on a hollow. Here we go. Whew. Wish me luck, guys. Last pack of this set. Okay. Death's Wombat. Final Ritual of the Ancients. Another Bersinitrix. So Elemental Hero. Definitely a good. Happy to see the E heroes. Uh, P Crew's second sight. Pretty cool artwork there. And Royal Surrender. So we did not get a, another hollow there, but uh, at least we got one hollow out of the Lost Millennium set. So pretty good. Still, one hollow in five packs is actually not that bad um, for back in the day's ratios. Dummy Golem, Double Attack, Monk Fighter, and Commonoid Blow. So same last card in this pack as the pack before this. All right, so probably one of the packs I'm more excited about, um, Cyber Dark Impact again. I want to say this was 2006. That one, don't quote me on that one. I'm not 100% on that one. So, uh, first edition Cyber Dark Impact. This card has a ton of value cards. Uh, the cover card, Cyber Dark Dragon Ultimate Rare is like 120. Uh, you know, you got Ultimate Rare Vanity's Fiend, Ultimate Rare Vanity's Ruler, uh, the Dark Lucius level card. Um, so many good. Awesome nostalgic ultimate rares in this set and other hollows. So let's see if we can end this video on a hollow. Maybe we can get, 
If we can get one hollow out of just this one pack, that would be amazing. So let's see if we can end this video strong. And so far we have three hollows so far. So hopefully casual Yugi stuff is uh, catching up or um, hopefully he's not beating us. But I don't know if he can. I mean, we're doing pretty good. Hopefully he's uh, hopefully he's keeping up with us is what I meant to say. Sorry. Um, hopefully I can get this pack open. All right, just trying to be careful. These packs definitely open differently than the packs of today. All right, very last pack. Let's see if we can end this strong. Cyberdark Impact. Here we go. Ritual Foregone. Combo Fighter. Flame Ogre. Vanity's Call. And we got a Hollow. Sweet. Out of just one pack. Trojan Blast. Super rare. Uh, actually, I don't remember this card at all, but... It looks cool. It's got a like a Trojan horse in the artwork. Super rare. Let's get a sleeve on that. Wow, so four hollows in this video. Four hollows from 14 packs. That's actually really good. Okay, so we got our Trojan Blast there all sleeved up and ready to go. So we'll name off the last few commons of that pack. Um, so Chain Healing. Alien Infiltrator. He looks pretty cool too. Counter Cleaner and Allure Queen level 3. Wow, I'd, I'm really happy we pulled an Allure Queen. I'm definitely a big fan of those. Uh, I'd like to get the other levels of those, but maybe we'll have to do that next time. So, uh, again, this was a pack battle with Casual Yugi Stuff. Go check out his channel and uh, he'll open the exact same packs that we just opened and let me know who you thought won the battle, you know, whoever got more hollows, whoever got better hollows, uh, more cool cards that you're more familiar with, whatever it is, you know, and then let us know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll do a quick recap of the four hollows. We'll just kind of show them to you guys one more time. So we got Brain Control from the Lost Millennium, super rare. We got Trojan Blast from Cyberdark Impact, super rare. Then we got Destiny Hero Dogma, super rare. Definitely glad I got a Destiny Hero card. And then we have Submarine Roid Ultimate Rare. I'm so excited that I got an Ultimate Rare. I am a huge fan of Ultimate Rares, and I definitely will add this to my collection. So this one's definitely uh, going safely away in the collection. So let me know what you guys thought about this video. And if you want to see me open up more vintage packs, whether it be Original Era, GX, you know, whatever you want to see, let me know down in the comments. Um, I do have a Rise of Destiny box. I was thinking about opening it up soon. So if you want to see that, let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed any of the three packs we opened in this video, uh, I know someone with more. So if you want, if you want to see some more opened, you know, let me know which one of the three or all three or, you know, let me know. If you really want to see it, if I get enough comments, I'll order up some more uh, very shortly. So let me know what you guys thought about this video. Check out Casual Yugi stuff and. Uh, Definitely leave a like if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're going to have a lot of great videos coming up soon, both uh, vintage, uh, new, and uh, everything in between. We got, we got some great videos coming up. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.